Hi, I'm Christopher Marlin, Snowflake Solutions Architect here at Aimpoint Digital and also a Snowflake Data Superhero. Welcome to the first part of our Cortex series looking at Snowflake's LLM functions. In this video, we're going to be diving into the extract answer function. Now, say perhaps you have some survey data, some review data, maybe even some email data. You want to do some analysis on all of that. That can be very, very hard and time consuming. With the extract answer function, what you can do is within a select statement, feed the function your column, give it a prompt in the form of a question, and Snowflake's LLMs are going to analyze that for you. So perhaps you want to know, is this answer actually answering the question in my survey? Perhaps with an email, you want to ask, is this a complaint or not? What you can do is you can use extract answer to do all of that analysis incredibly quickly and at scale. That sounds good and you want to learn some more? Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the data for these examples. You should be able to find a link to that data in the chat below. It is the movies.rk file, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click this plus button here and I can drag my uh, data in there. So I'm just gonna pull that upload. Okay, great, and now that's accessible to my code. So I'm going to uncollapse this cell and there's no need to really understand this. Basically, it's just importing pandas, getting the session that, you know, I have as someone logged into SnowSight, reading that uh, parquet file into a pandas data frame and then writing that pandas data frame into the same schema that the notebook is in. So let's run that. Okay, great. And that seems to have worked. Just to check, let's look at our data. Okay, so we have title, directed by, all that kind of information, edited by, music, and plots. So we get quite a bit of data on these films. Now what I want to do in this demo, because we're using Extract Answer, I want to show you how the function is going to interpret data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first turn it into a JSON object. And I'm going to use object construct keep null star to do that. So what that's just going to do is it's just going to turn all of these columns per row into a JSON object. So I'll run that just to show you. So yeah, okay, you can see here, this is what our data looks like. And this is how you, you could pr probably receive your data when you first get to it. So we're going to use extract answer to just basically try and figure out a little bit about our data before we dig into it. So first thing I want to know is who is the director. So I'm going to start with the common table expression and I'm going to call it table to object as and just copy and paste this code in. So we have our table in that JSON format. Obviously this is a little contrived at the moment, but hopefully you can see why this would be useful um, when you have data in, in an unstructured format. So I'm going to do another common table expression called extract answer as, and I want to you know, query the previous common table expression. So I'm going to use this movie object that I've got, and I'm just going to extract the title just so we know what it's talking about here. Turn that into a string and call that title. And then I'm going to use the extract answer function. Now, it's a bit like a user defined function. It belongs in a database and in a schema. So, that is the Snowflake database, the Cortex schema, and then I just want to call the function. So, that's extract answer. And this is going to expect two parameters. First off, is going to be the column from which we have the answers that it is to extract. And then the second is a question. The question will be a prompt, you know, what is this? What is that? that kind of thing. So my answers are all in the movie object. I'm just going to turn that into a string. And then I'm going to ask who directed this film. Okay. So I'm going to select start from our 
extract answer common table expression. What I might do actually just as a verification step, I might actually grab the director. So I'll call this column verification and I want to extract, if I just look here, uh, leave it words, directed by, yeah, that's it. So uh, I'm just going to get that directed by just as a, as a bit of a check to make sure everything is correct. Okay, so first off, gone with the wind, Victor Fleming, that is correct. James Cameron, James Cameron, George Lucas. Oh, we have a problem here. It's not correct, but I believe all else is. So nine out of 10, that, that's quite a good result, I think. Uh, we'll, give it, we'll give it credit for that. Okay, so just to test that this wasn't fluke, I'm gonna do another. So uh, we still want the title, but we're gonna look at the release date. So, Let's just have a look. So the column we are expecting it to read is release dates. So we'll put that in for our verification. And I'll just ask, when was this film released? Okay, seems wrong there. It's obviously read something else. This is correct and it is acknowledged that there are two answers to this question so that's good a little less good here pretty good here i, I guess correct i think it's done some interpretation there i suppose okay so not as good but still it's getting there it's getting there uh, but what you'll probably find is if you're actually following this video much later it may be better snowflake are constantly improving everything that's going on in the back end here and you know that will just happen pretty seamlessly. You don't need to do any version control or keeping up to date with anything. So next I'm gonna ask something a bit more, shall we say, subjective. So I'm gonna ask, what is the film about? And I believe the column is called Plots. Yeah, so I'll use that as our verification, but there's not much chance we're gonna read all those plots anyway, I suppose. And I'm going to ask, what is this film about? And in this last little query, I'm going to be a bit smarter. I'm going to do title. I'll do two extract answers, and then I'll do verification. The uh, reason why I'm doing two of them is I actually want to extract these columns this time. So you can see they're in an array and then in an object. So what I need to do is go into that array, get answer, get score, okay? So I'll just do square brackets, zero. That's going to get me uh, the first item in the array. And then we want double colons here. Answer, score. In fact, we don't want double, we want single. Apologies for misleading you. And then we want double for the data type. So answer should be a string and score should be a Float. And I'm just going to alias those as answer as score. Okay, so let's run that. And I have made a mistake. Ah, oh, yes, because I haven't alien aliased. So maybe I'll call that extracted answer the result of our cortex extract answer function. So we'll call that extract answer, uh, extracted answer, sorry. And there we go. Okay. So, Gone with the Wind, it seems fairly certain it's about the American Civil War. I haven't watched that film, but I imagine that that's correct from what I know. Avatar is not very confident, but of suffering from resource exhaustion and ecological collapse, the thing that's correct. And not very good for Star Wars, although mid a galactic Civil War Rebel Alliance spies have stolen plans for the Death Star. I think that's correct, but I think it's almost copied and pasted here. And yeah, extraterrestrial is about aliens. Uh, yes, I, I believe that is correct. And Dr. Zhivago, I think that might just be quite wrong. It scored itself quite lowly, which is, you know, it's a fair judge. And the Ten Commandments, the Book of Exodus, I mean, yes, it's correct. And Star Wars The Force Awakens is about Star Wars The Force Awakens. It scored itself very high there. And yes, I guess that is accurate. So there you are. That is a very quick use of extract answer. It's a very simple function to use. Thank you very much for following this bit. So thank you for watching this video in our Cortex series. 
And if you liked it, please do like and subscribe. And I very much look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much.